Hey guys, what's going on? Anthony from D's Lutz. We're going to mess around with some Osiris grading today. Some of the Lutz from um, Osiris. And we're going to go into our grading right away. We have our clip in DaVinci Resolve. Our super slow mo of our Muay Thai kickboxing champ. And this is the straight out of the black magic cinema camera and what we're gonna do is we're gonna shrink this down as always and we're gonna do we're gonna create three serial nodes uh, if you don't know what nodes are they are over here and by creating a node you can go to nodes add serial node one add serial node number three or alt s on your mac instead of doing it the long way so we're going to right click on 3D LUT, and we're going to go find our Osiris LUTs, and we're going to pick Vision X Rec 709. And right off the bat, we get a really nice change, a really nice beginning point uh, from what we had to where we are. So this is where we began, and this is where we are. So now what we want to do is we're going to grade the first node of the tree but by grade I mean begin to make some changes in our shadows pull down on our shadows a bit uh, we could pull up on the gamma 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 we get a little saturation in here and then what we'll do is we'll go over to uh, serial node number two click on this little um, three circular RGB mixer Take the red channel, boom. Wow, that looks lovely. Green, uh, we're done. No, I'm just kidding. Blue all the way up. You'll see now where we come from and where we are. And we'll just make some uh, minor changes and tweaks to what we see here. We can bring down our blue a little bit. Ungang the custom curves. Bring down this. Uh, make sure that doesn't freak out. Oh, that should be unganged, but it didn't ungang, but now it is unganged. And we go right about there uh, to there. Maybe pull back on some of the green. Go a little bit up on the red channel. Down a little bit here. Uh, a little S curve. And let's see what we have. Uh, in our Osiris LUT package. So I think it came out pretty good. Um, you know, it is what it is, right? We can always go back in and change it if we didn't like it. So click back in here, right click, jump back into Osiris. Maybe La Vision 6 Rec 709 would be better. That's a little bit more blue, or we can go into so Cyrus again, the old familiar M31. Let's see how that looks. Definitely a little bit more yellow and greenish, well teal and orange, excuse me. So that is how you grade. Technically, you're supposed to grade a Osiris LUT with the three tree uh, system. So if you if you were looking to do that, Osiris. You add the Osiris LUT, uh, 3D LUT on uh, node 3, go back to grid node 1. And if you go back into node 1, you can see that this is where we graded our shadows. You can pull back down on the shadow some more. That's way too far. So we don't want to do that. Um, I mean, once you get into this situation, obviously, you can create another node and maybe sharpen things up a tad um, by pulling down on... Uh, the radius, the 47, you can see that sharpened it up a bit and definitely made it more, uh, well, not more, but made it less, you know, play slower, excuse me. Definitely playing a lot slower. And so that is a quick look at the Osiris LUT situation. What we can do is we can reset all colors and grades. Uh, oh, if you're wondering how I set up the cinema... Um, framing here if you go into color and you go to output 
banking, you'll see 2.35 here. That's what I'm in now. So if it's color, output banking, 2.40, you'll see it changes just a little bit. Uh, so let's just bang out a quick D LUTs also, a little bonus time. Oh, we're going to go in 3D LUTs. Actually, you know what I'll show you guys? The studio linear uh, speed looks that I learned about from uh, the camera store TV channel, uh, TV channel, channel on YouTube. Um, a lot of cool stuff. They have the matrix green here. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty cool. Let's go back into the, um, let's play that through. Yeah, that does a nice job too. I like. I actually like that look. A little quicker turnaround than uh, the Osiris LUT, wouldn't you say? So let's do a little bit of uh, grading, if you if you will. We'll saturate it up a little bit, yeah. and then uh, let's give it a full playthrough. See what you guys think of the uh, Vision Looks Matrix Green. Definitely matrix green, look very cinematic, right? See how slow it plays once you start grading? And I have an iMac uh, Pro Retina uh, top of the line type situation, and you know it plays pretty slow. So that's enough of that for now. So those are just a couple of the grading options that you have with um, with DaVinci Resolve, a bunch of LUTs, and we'll end with taking a look into Speed Looks Studio Linear. And we have so many. So many options here. Let's go back and go in here. And I mean, I, I can show you guys LUTs all day, and that's, that's kind of like what I like to do. So there's a real cool one here that is called um, Gold Heat. I like the gold heat in the right situation. But we, I mean, look how drastic, look how quick we could change the looks just by using these LUTs and playing with a couple of the, the, uh, the primaries and log files, not files, settings in DaVinci Resolve just by pulling back on the shadows here. It's a little too much. Um, call by the contrast. I mean, we could we could definitely drastically change the look of our uh, clip. But that is enough for now. I am Anthony. You've been watching another episode of These Luts. And I am out of here, and I will see you guys next time.